with Group Iron Man coming out, I decided to update my Jack of Spades aura guide, in which case players will be getting all three best in slot auras. That does include the legendary. And because it is a new account, players may figure out it might be quite hard to actually get all 25 skills. However, with this, you should easily be able to, although granted you do need a couple items beforehand, which that would have to be weapons for every single style and to have completed the necromancy tutorial and the archaeology tutorial. Make your way to the Berkdor Blowstone for the auras. Remember, we will be using the legendary Jack of Spades for this. Then, players will want to go to their settings, gameplay, combat and action bar. Make sure you go to combat experience and then toggle every single thing. So for melee, have attack, strength, and defense to be all checkmarked. For range, you could just have range checkmarked for magic and necromancy. The same thing. Now, from the lodestone itself, you just want to go south. And we'll be going west into the Berthorb mine. Once inside, you want to mine one copper ore, one tin ore, and three clay. If you want, you are actually able to go south, mine the gem rocks. This way you could get mining, crafting, and fletching. Because when you do get a gem, you can just cut it right there if you do have the crafting level. And then you're able to fletch them into the bolt tips. However, once you have just those three items, you want to smelt at the furnace. And we'll be making the one bronze bar. Or here, go a little bit east and you want to click on the fill well. You want to make all three soft clay. Now that we're here, shear the sheep. Click on the spinning wheel. Create the ball of wool. For the combat part, we will be killing a cow. This will give you the constitution and range, and they will drop bones so you're able to get the prayer. Now, go to your necromancy weapon, and again, kill a cow. You'll get the necromancy one. For magic, the same thing. And for melee, you just want to stab the cow to death to make some ground beef. Once all of that is done, you should have 11 out of 25 skills completed. Go south and chop a tree. Chop another tree. Go south to the fishing spot. Once you have caught one, right click and make one fire with a log. Then use the crawfish on the fire. Now, with the other log, you're able to, I would highly suggest players to do arrow shafts. Just in case you do this passively every single day for like a whole year, you'll have a ton of arrow shafts. Anyway, that will give you the fletching. Then right here, this does depend if you have weeds or a potato, so you just want to harvest it. And then if you run out of potato seeds, the NPC gives you enough so that you're able to do it. So it just depends on which you do feel comfortable for. Next up, we'll be going into our house portal. You want to right click and then enter building mode. The bigger your house is, the longer it will take for the area to load. Once you're here, go north. And if you do have a living room, you're actually able to remove it. Build a fireplace that does require five construction. I mean three construction that will give you another one then you simply want to leave your house 
go south a little bit and you should see a pompous merchant you want to steal him for some money so just right click pickpocket and voila next we will be going south and then east over the bridge you should see a herblore icon on the minimap and we'll be trading jackson so all you really want from him is the grimy guam take it and clean it run north a little bit and we'll be going to the summoning shop over here take all of the supplies to make the spirit wolf pouch you now have 21 out of 25 skills so go north a little bit and we will be seeing a hunter tutorial over here just right click trade her to get a bird snare this one may take quite a while but you just want to lay the bird snare anywhere and then the birds will eventually come to you it's pretty much rng depending on the roaming range so do keep an eye on that Once we have caught the bird, you want to check it. And now you want to go north. Continue going north until we go to the agility obstacle. And we will want to cross the log beam. If players do have a whopping 33 crafting and a clockwork along with a plank, they are able to make a toy mouse, which you can wind up, right click release from anywhere, and you can pick it up. So you don't actually have to get here. It's just depending on if it's a very fresh account, you only have one crafting. Now, with your archaeology journal, you want to right click and teleport. Go east and we'll be going to the hot spot so that we're able to get the third age icon. Once you have gotten one item, again, right click teleport back to the archaeology journal, or we can make our way to the Birdorb lodestone. Go east and speak to the NPC right here. And hit option one for yes to get a wicked hood. Since this is a very fresh account, you will have access to the air altar. Now that we're here, enter the ruins and right click the wicked hood, withdraw essence. And this will be the 25th skill completed. This last step you do not have to do if you do have access to invention, which requires 80 crafting, smithing, and divination. So next. Go back to Birthdoor. Go east. Deactivate your legendary Jack of Spades aura. And we'll be speaking to Juan. When you do speak to him, he will give you a little dialogue, in which case you will get the legendary rewards book which the experience does scale based on your level and it does scale to the skills that do go to level 120. thank you all so much for watching this and enjoy the rest of your day don't forget to like subscribe or comment down below any video suggestions or questions you have and i will try to answer them and enjoy the rest of your day